area that's all covered and that you can access. Tribal and local police and volunteers are preparing to search a vast area of Northern California wilderness for a missing Native woman. 33-year-old Emily Risling, a mother of two, was last seen near this village on the Yurok Native American Reservation in October. The community is determined to get an answer. What that answer may be, I don't know, but an answer can bring closure. Growing up, Emily was a promising student and an expert traditional dancer. Blythe George was a close friend. She always had a sparkle and a smile, and I always, um, I gravitated towards her and thought the world of her. But as Emily grew older, she suffered from mental health problems and substance abuse. In this impoverished tribal community, it was difficult to get her the help she needed. According to the FBI, 5,295 indigenous women were reported missing nationwide in 2020. Native American women are 10 times more likely to be murdered than any other ethnicity. More than one half of all Native women have experienced rape or other sexual abuse. George is working to assemble a database of the missing and murdered women. We are disproportionately experiencing violence across the life course. For indigenous people, it's often a different race hurting you, and that goes back to the settler colonialism. Indigenous women are preyed upon because tribal police are often underfunded and under-equipped. Overlapping police jurisdictions make criminals think they can literally get away with murder, says Yurok tribal judge Abby Abenanti. It is somebody who is killing who knows there's sort of no harm, no foul, because they're not going to be pursued, and in fact they aren't. The Yurok tribe wants funding for investigators and equipment to conduct searches and better mental health care access. Last year, President Joe Biden signed an executive order on murdered and missing indigenous women, directing federal agencies to help coordinate investigations and improve safety. Thank you all. The fates of many of the native women who have gone missing amid these dense and remote forests may never be known, but their families, and tribal officials vow never to stop searching for answers. We need to get her home, so she'll be, at least have that, at least have that, you know. That's our responsibility, to bring her home. Gone, but never forgotten. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, on the Yurok Reservation in California.